Hey there guys and welcome to another lad from the Tilton video. As you can see and you probably know yourself by now, um, we haven't had much news very recently. So we're extremely low on things that we can talk about. Um, but I have a couple of interesting things that will, oh, not really overly interesting, but things that I would like to talk about, I've got tabs open at the top. So the first thing is a news thing that's just come out from Pep Clotet, uh, saying it's a clean slate for everyone. Pep Clotet has confirmed that every player starts afresh for the coming campaign. Clotet plans to carefully assess the options of the side and the who forced their case in pre-season by improving at every chance of involvement. So you can see they've obviously been loaned out, the people have been knocking on the door. Last season we had Stockdale, Grounds, Seddon and Cater spent a lot of time out on loan for different reasons. So, from this statement, we can make out that he's planning to give the other players that have been loaned out and kind of already were kicked out of the club, really, another go. Exactly. The quartet were part of the squad in Portugal, which we will be talking about in a minute, the squad in Portugal, and have trained for first team since reporting back. A clean slate, absolutely, said Clotet. I think it is our job to be as fair as possible and it to be based on what we see in practices and on the training pits. Every asset of the club is a part of the club and they all have a fresh start on that. Then it is up to every player to do their best and we can show that what is on the training pitch and their attitude. Regarding the under 23s, we are a club that needs to get the best out of the players we produce. The club has done that before and it will do it into the future, how football's going. This will become more important with the ability to develop players. I'm pretty sure the fans will be ha very happy to see some homegrown players getting minutes. But at the same time, we need to make sure that the team keeps being competitive with the young players to come and add to us and help us. So... With this, we can see that he's looking to use the under-23s that we already have, such as Seddon, uh, Corey O'Keefe, Jude Bellingham, all those kind of players, Badrami, Redmond, those kind of players he's looking to use. Um, blah, blah, blah. Uh, this, here is the other thing that I was quite interested in talking about, so quite a lot of it I'm not interested in. I'm interested in talking about the squad itself. So the squad itself is Lee Camp, Truman and Stockdale. So we've got the three goalkeepers that you would expect to see, Camp, Truman and Stockdale. But at the same time, do you expect to see Stockdale after last season? As he said, everyone gets a clean slate, everyone's back. The same with Jonathan Grounds, he's come back. Cater and Seddon, both of those have come back. A couple of players who were given a chance but pushed back have been given another chance. You can see Colin, Cogley and Harding as your right backs. Pedersen, Ground, Seddon and Cater can play left back in this squad. You've you've got so Seddon, Ground and Cater, all three being given a new opportunity in this squad. Harley Dean, Mark Roberts, Joe Redmond as the three centre-halves the we have in the squad which shows we are extremely low on centre halves but I suppose you could count Wes Harding as a centre half as well and I knew that Pedersen can play there obviously because of his height and stuff like that. Then you have Corey O'Keefe, Kifton Belt gone as central midfielders. Uh, Augustin Medina who's come as a trialist for well just comes to train really from our sister club at FC Cornell, I think it is, um, who also Ivan 
Guzman at the end pass. You've got Charlie Lakin, another youth prospect, come through. Gary Gardner, Craig Gardner, David Davis, and Jude Bellingham. As so you've got the central midfield role players, Kerem Rabti and Isaac Vassell and Odin Bailey, I guess, could all play wing. But I would say Rabti is your main winger. And you've obviously got Magoma, who's just been on, on international duty, who so can't play his international because of the international duty. Juki and Guzman up front players. So this is an interesting squad as you're seeing Stockdale come back, Grounds, Seddon and Cater come back, youth prospects such as Joe Redmond and Corey O'Keefe introduced into the squad. Seeing Jude Bellingham go on the international preseason tour is very optimistic. Uh, Odin Bailey also going. Good to see Kifton Bell back in fit in kind of fitter form and going back to training so yeah something else to be spoke about it's a bit of an awkward looking screen but we are reportedly set to offer Saido Berahino another chance we have apparently offered him a trial at the club uh, we're kind of trying to replace that striker that's missing that uh, Che tears roll down my face as I say that but Che is gone and we need to replace him so we're looking out at other players that are possibly going to be a cheaper option who have performed in the past he scored 36 goals in 121 appearances for the baggies he joined Stoke had a bit of an attitude issue and ended up just falling from there and with his poor attitude it brought it into the changing room. It was a bit bad. He had a bad point. He had his issues. Everyone knows about them. But if we can change that, he could become a very good striker who scores some goals. Remember, at one point, he was going to be an international England striker. So, he isn't a bad striker. So, he won't be the worst player to bring in secondary piece of transfer news from this is that Viv Solomon Osbal has decided to move on after rejecting a contract offered by the club. We offered the one year extension to his contract for him to remain at the club. By the sounds of it we basically offered him the same deal for another year and he didn't like it and didn't want to stay at the club and possibly just didn't follow with the rules. Uh, he hadn't played a lot of appearances and this obviously is an issue for us as we don't have many wingers. He's been there since a young lad and yeah, this could be an issue for us next season. Apparently, very recently, another piece of transfer news is that we have been scouting Je Je Jeremy Bella who is a, as it says here, a free agent winger. Both us and Forrest have both been in for him. Uh, the 26-year-old has spent the last couple of seasons in the second tier with Al Boquete. I just got to mute that tab now. <laughs> I'll, cl I'll close it. Um, however... 11 goals in 34 matches last term was quite interesting. He seemed to be a bit more talented. Uh, obviously, we only have two wingers at this point possible to play. So, he may be someone we're looking at to bring in to revitalise it and possibly start playing that free-flowing football that the owners want to play. Obviously, we all know about the I, the supposed Ivan Sunjic deal. Ivan Sunjic, um, I'm not 100% sure whether we will get him or not, but he's gone at, he's gone back to training with Dynamo Zagreb. Um, he is a very talented player, uh, but probably won't be signing for us. The same with Puskas here, who I think is possibly a better player than us and 
could, if he showed his talents, would end up in the Premier League club. Both of these two players. This is an issue for Blues as we need that strikers and we need that midfielders. But in England, we're fighting with Leeds. And what I've heard is that they are supposed to be in a little bit of money trouble. And this is why they've sold a couple of players' leads recently. So, I guess it may be possible that they can't afford him. And if he wants to come to England, he may come to us. As you can see here, there is really not many things to talk about here. You've got a few new contracts. Uh... A few things for the ladies team which is also currently falling apart so there is also the rumor of leon clark which i think that that one's talking about but i p personally wouldn't want him i don't think he is good enough for us he's certainly not a replacement for che a 34 year old who isn't wanted by a Premier League club, what we would obviously aspire to be, becoming is not what you want to be signing. He spent the second half of the season out on line at Wigan, scoring three goals in nine starts. So I guess he's scoring one in three there. But I'm not sure that we would want to sign him on a per permanent basis as a replacement for Che myself. Anyway, thanks for listening to my pre-season kind of talk through the transfers. I haven't done a video in a while, so I thought I would do one on this and the transfers. Another one that I didn't talk about is the fact, obviously, that we have a new assistant head coach, which is Paco Herrera also. Paco Herrera is someone who's an experienced assistant uh, and scout and data analyst he's, he's done it all um and he seems quite optimistic about his challenge here at blues which is a good thing and obviously the under 23s lost three goals to one but it was their first game together and they've only just come back to training so optimistic to see them playing and going for it again and scoring goals and well done to solid almost for beating us three goals to one anyway on tomorrow we have the Blues game, the friendly against CD Kova de Pidade. I'm not 100% sure how to pronounce that one. And two days later, we have the friendly against Vittoria de Setubal. So we have a couple of friendlies very close up together. So that will be interesting to watch those two pre-season friendlies and see how the squad that we currently have is able to play and see what they want to do with the squad, the formation, and what they think of the squad. Anyway, thanks for watching and possibly just listening to this video. It means a lot to see you guys still looking at my videos in post-season. Um, and well, we're coming up to pre-season now. Uh, even these kind of videos are getting up to about 100 views, and that means a lot to me. Thank you guys so much. Please continue the love and support. Comments down below, uh, the likes, uh, and subscribing, and turn that notification bell on if every single time I upload you would like to be told through your inbox through emails and stuff like that you can get told straight away so that you can get straight on the video and watch it as soon as it comes out because next season the vlogs will be back thanks for watching guys keep right on